Okay, so today we're going to the Islamic Art Museum and after that we're going to be going to Al-Azhar and a few other uh, famous So this is the Islamic Art Museum These are some of the copies of the Quran that they have inside the museum So in this uh, museum they have old uh, Islamic copies of the Quran Subhanallah Okay so this door here so this uh, wooden piece here is the mihrab from the Al Azhar mosque and uh, so this is the mihrab and that door there is an old door from the Al Azhar mosque which we're going to visit later on today And what do we have here? And this is a window from Al Salih Talai Mosque. So it's a very, very busy part of uh, Cairo that we're going to. Um, not as touristy uh, as the River Nile area. Okay, saying this is the marketplace of Azhar. Inshallah. Okay, so this is Masjid Abu Dhahab, which is uh, right in front of Al Azhar Mosque, a very old uh, architectural uh, masjid. Subhanallah, you can see how old it is. It's not in use at the moment, they don't use it for salah or anything. You have to pay a little uh, entrance fee of. Uh, 40 Egyptians to get in per adult and 20 for the children and uh, the architecture is really old and unique okay so we've just climbed the mosque of uh, Abu al Dhab, and in front of us you can see the mosque of Al-Azhar so this is the minaret that we're standing on right now and then you got the Masjid al Hussein over there which according to the Shias there's some uh, the head of Imam Hussein in there but that's not like a reliable source you got the markets down below which we're gonna go to later on you can see the different masajids of uh, Cairo down there Mashallah, beautiful all part of the Masjid al Dhahab and uh, would recommend climbing the minaret if you're here and uh, it's very well worth it. We had this uh, brother over here who for free took us all the way up and uh, yeah, mashallah, it's quite a good place. Okay, so we are now entering into Al Azhar, uh, the Masjid of Al Azhar. So you can see different maktabas over here, different uh, books, uh, libraries, you can say. It's the oldest masjid in, in Cairo. Um, Cairo is actually known as the city of a thousand uh, minarets. So initially, this was actually a uh, Shia masjid and then uh, when Salahuddin Ayyubi came, they turned it into a, into a Sunni one and in different corners were taught the different madhahibs. So you can actually hear a dars taking place ahead. So this is actually the masjid, uh, not even the university. So we're just going to go into the masjid section right now. So if you look on the sides, they've got sections. I'm presuming these are for classes. 
can see some students there at the back. They look like they're from Malaysia or somewhere. Al Azhar Masjid is an underground tunnel uh, which they've built so that you can bypass the streets on top, uh, which will take you to uh, Masjid Al Hussein, which is where we're going right now. So, this is inside Masjid Al Hussein. They're reading Qamarun Sidna Nabi. So on the gold uh, bit there, it's actually written there Sayyiduna Al Hussein. And uh, it's got Abu Abdullah written on it as well. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not necessarily true that the head of the Hussein is buried here, but it is a uh, Shia um, tradition and a Shia riwaya. This is the beginning of Al Mu'iz Street. A lot of uh, old Islamic artifacts here, a lot of uh, massages are here, um, coffee shops, a lot of shops that sell shisha. Um, so, a lot, a lot happening over here. So this is the market of Khan Khalil. Welcome. You can see how you look. So this is like uh, a few seconds from uh, uh, Masjid Al-Hussein. Assalamu alaikum. Haji. Haji.